from Texas to the Carolinas. We traveled over a thousand miles to install this amazing home automation project. From a beautiful lake house to a smart getaway. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Everything that I'm about to show you, we can bring to your house. The description below has a link, a 1-800 phone number. Connect with us. We want to help you out. We're going to show you everything that we did here and how we did it. So let's start this tour. First, we're going to start at the door. This is the control for door station, the time. When I ring this, there's a touch screen over there that has intercom integration for me to communicate from here to there. Not only communicate, but I can see myself. Let's start. Hey Chris, let me in bro. We got a YouTube video to shoot. Ding! Alarm, extremely, extremely important. Security is key because it's peace of mind for you, your family, and whoever comes over. Here, we installed a Qualsys system, one of the leading manufacturers of security in the world. Their wireless technology is amazing. In scenarios where you can't wire, this is a great system to have because you can put contacts, smokes, uh, glass breaks. This one is actually comes with a glass break that's built in, uh, but it's a great wireless system that is fully integrated with Control 4. Let's walk in the house. First, let's start with some lights. Lighting, extremely, extremely important. And as soon as we walked in the door, you get a taste of it. Every single light switch in this house has the adaptive phase dimmers from Control 4, and we have keypads in the main entry points your door, or at least, sorry, the entertaining areas. Your entry points, uh, the game room, the living room, the places where you're going to need a button that's gonna handle multiple things and you have accessibility to anything and everything in the household from when play. All right, so as we get into this living room or this great room for entertaining, this is the first user interface that I'm gonna show you. This is the Halo Touch by Control 4. From this remote, I can control not only this room, but every single piece of equipment that's integrated into the system from this device. Start with the TV and let me show you how easy it is to control. I'm gonna hit one button that's gonna say watch. From there, it's gonna give me the options and features that I have in the room. The reason that we do Roku is because it has app integration that can take you straight from the off state straight into the room or straight into the app. And as you can see, we have Netflix right here. I'm going to click that. It's going to ask me if I want to launch the app, and I'm going to launch the app. What's going to happen? It's actually going to turn on the television. It's going to turn on the Roku. It's going to take me straight into Netflix, turn the receiver, and set this zone to listen to whatever it's on the television. I can turn it off, turn it on, upgrade, downgrade, whatever I want from here. This isn't the only user interface that I have in this room. You might have seen it when I rang the doorbell. Let me take you to this T4 touchscreen. And we're going to slow it down for a second so I can show you all of the features and things that you can do from here. You can switch to any room in the house. Right now, we're focused on the great room. This is going to show me my watch options, my listen, my lighting, comfort, security, intercom, and we do have some custom scenes. From here, as you can see, it's going to show me status of the video of what the Roku scene that I just turned on. This is how easy it is to turn up the volume from here and keep in mind that everything communicates together. So anything that I do from this touch screen, it's also going to happen uh, and show on the Halo, the Halo Touch or the user app. As we're playing with a few things, let me turn on some lights, let me turn off some lights so I can show you how this works. As I mentioned, we do have dimmers in the house uh, and these dimmers have sliders. I could do this as slow or as fast as I want. The response rate on this system is almost instant. So let me slide these up. Boom. That's how fast it is and easy it is to control the lights in the house. From there, we've discussed this before, Elizabeth, let's talk about scenes. Nobody wants to walk into a house and just hit one button and then hit another button and then hit another button. No, you want to create scenes that fit your lifestyle. Now, the good thing is when we turn the system over, we have some pre-created scenes, but this touch screen is going to allow you to set up your own scenes. Let's slow it down for a second and let me show you how this works. We have a button over here that says scenes. From here, 
I can select the rooms that I want to integrate. Sorry, let me back up a second. From here, I can hit scenes, and this is going to show me the current scenes that are set up for the household. Outside of that, I can actually create my own scenes. I can capture the current scene so it can remember the status of where everything is, uh, and I can just create an instant scene, or I can actually create a brand new scene. Let's just, for the video's sakes and for entertaining purposes, let's create a scene, and we're gonna start it off in this room. It's going to give me the option to have every room in the house, but we don't want to. We only want to work in the great room. From there, it's gonna give me the rooms that I have, the lights that I have in the room and that can be integrated. I can check them or uncheck them. And then from there, I want to select what the system is going to do. So by setting up a scene and hitting this button that says preview, it's actually going to dim the lights to the level that I've selected to see if I like the scene. Three, two, click. You'll notice that everything dimmed to the level that I wanted to pick. You know what? It's too low. Let's turn it up. Let's preview the scene. I like it. Now we're gonna finish it. Bam, I'm gonna hit finish and it's gonna give me the option to name the scene. I can name it whatever I want. Party, entertaining, who knows? Boop, boop, boop. Hit, we're not gonna save it. But that is how you create a scene from the touchscreen. Other things that I can do from here. Now that we've discussed lighting and we're slowing it down today, let's talk about thermostats. In this house, we have integrated the EcoB thermostats. Uh, I've said it a lot that multiple intercoms, sorry, multiple thermostats can be integrated into the system. Your Ecobees, your Google Nest, but the recommended route is to go with the control for thermostat because it's Zigbee, not network. Keep in mind that when it comes to home automation, it is two companies working together to make something happen. And every once in a while, this company may make some changes that this company is not aware of. And guess what? That disconnects. So you have to call us to get it back into the network. Now, don't get me wrong, Ecobee is a very reliable system, but these are things that we want to prevent from happening and you having to call us to fix it. So that's why we have the recommended equipment. But Control 4 is the friendly kid in town that will allow you to use multiple brands. This room is where you're going to hang out with your friends, watch movies. We do have a 5.1 surround sound with Klipsch speakers in here. All of the speakers in this house are actually Klipsch audio. Uh, we have the DS and the reference premiere spread out throughout the house uh, for great quality audio. Now, this is a surround sound, but there's certain rooms where are dedicated from home audio, where there is for partying, entertaining, or whatever. And let's go check those out. Boom, we are in the kitchen. This is one of those rooms that you're gonna use for a lot of entertaining. So we have home audio in this room. From any user interface, you can control the system. From this handheld remote, I can turn it up a little bit or I can turn it up a lot or from my iPad, whatever it is. Now there's a lot of rooms for entertaining in this house. So let's go to the backyard. Boom, we're in the back now. And this is a room where there's gonna be a lot of entertaining. And I'm gonna slow it down because it's such a beautiful scenery that I want y'all to wait for it. Are you ready? Yes, we have some speakers here. And honestly, this channel is about home automation and I should highlight the speakers. But first I wanna highlight this. We are currently in Salem, South Carolina. We flew miles and spend a lot of hours designing this project. And it is awesome to be here. I would love to work with you, whether in New York, California, Nebraska, whatever. We are here to help and we wanna bring this same experience to your household. But okay, enough with this one. Let's go downstairs. Boom, we're in the covered patio and this is what we call this room. Now, this is where you're gonna hang out, this is where you're going to party, this is where you're gonna play music, whatever. We got a pair of in-ceiling speakers up here for music or to connect them to any of the audio video into the house. We also have an arachnus access point because you want Wi-Fi. Obviously with Wi-Fi nowadays, nothing works. So you wanna make sure that from the app you can connect to the system uh, and make any changes into the music or scenes or whatever you want. And security, as you can see, we have a camera to cover the entire perimeter. I'll show you all the cameras here in a second, but we do have a camera here at an entry point to make sure that uh, you have peace of mind of who's coming in and out of your house. These cameras, as you can see, they got a slight little light on them. These are actually day and night color vision cameras. Old technology at night, everything was black and gray. New technology is in color. 
Beautiful scenery, but let me take you inside because this is another beautiful room for entertaining. Let's go. All right, we are in the rec room. This is where entertaining happens. This is where you're gonna listen to music or watch an amazing movie on this 5.1 surround sound and this huge 98 inch TV by Samsung. I just installed it yesterday, so I still have the plastic on. So for content purposes, we're gonna take the plastic off in a little bit and demo it. Now, one of the things that I wanna point out is there's two remotes. Now they may look the same, but they're completely different. One of them is the Halo, the other one is the Halo Touch. Biggest difference is the screen up here. As you can see, this one is gonna have more heart buttons because this screen, it's not a touch screen. And this one, the Halo Touch, has a touch screen. From here, I can actually turn on the lights and turn off the lights. This hopefully doesn't get too dark in here. But let's turn them back on. And the reason I'm showing you both remotes is so you can see that anything that I do in one user interface happens on the other one. It's time to watch some TV. But before we do that, let's peel the plastic off and let's make it official. And now that the plastic's off, we're gonna grab my Halo remote. I'm gonna hit watch. And then I'm gonna select the Roku. What it's going to do is going to power on the television turn on the Roku and switch it to the correct input. From there, I can control everything from here. The Roku, simple integration, all of your streaming platforms are built into the system and you can actually listen to music. As we're listening to music, one of the things that I wanna point out is that I said 5.1, but if you look around, there's no big subwoofer in this room. So let's go this way. And you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. I stand corrected. I don't know my stuff. We did a 7.1 in this room. But this is the speaker that I wanted to point out. This is an in-ceiling subwoofer. This subwoofer is going to give you the bass and the lows that you need for music, for when Jurassic Park is playing and the big dinosaur is coming behind you and you hear those big stumps. That's what that one is for. But the coolest thing is actually being powered by a subwoofer amplifier in the rack. What's the rack? That's where the magic happens. This is the actual room where we brought in the rack, brought in all of the equipment. Rack uh, was built and set up right here a few months back when Dion came in. We got some clips that we want to share with y'all because this has been an ongoing project for a few months. We came in at the pre-wiring stages for this property in South Carolina, all the way from Texas. This took hours and hours of design, hours and hours of programming, and we can do the same thing in your house. And this is a perfect example on how we do it and how we did it. There's another T4 over there, and I actually have a couple scenes that I wanna show you. And we're gonna slow it down just a second. Yes, we have adaptive phase dimmers to control individual loads. Keep in mind, these will eventually be engraved. And I hate that I say this in a lot of the videos, but um, we always take a little bit of time to make the engravings because things may change. So we create scenes. Uh, in a little while, I'm gonna put some temporary stickers on these uh, for the client to know what everything controls. But once we narrow it down and make all the decisions, we come in and we engrave these buttons. These can also be engraved, uh, but these are the ones that we're going to engrave on this project. Now, right now, you don't know what they do, but I know what they do. Each of these four buttons is linked to an individual load in this room. So as I click this, you'll notice that lights start turning on and off. Now, one of the things, as I mentioned, is you don't want to walk into a room and start hitting buttons. So this button right here has it all on. Chris, flip the camera and let me click it. Boom, I hit one button and you notice that all of the lights start coming on. Now, another scenario, and also keep in mind that it is daylight. I wish I could have shot this in the nighttime. Uh, so I hope that you got a, a view of what the lighting does. But another thing that I can hide is music or video. This button right here, it's all off. If I click it once, it's gonna turn all the lights off. But if I click it more than once, and you look at that TV over there, once I click this three times, what it's going to do 
it's actually going to power the room off and turn everything off. That was cool. You know what else is cool? This rack and the fact that we can do the same thing in your house. Remember, there's a link below to schedule a virtual consultation. It is complimentary. Let's connect. Most of the time, it's going to be me that does the virtual consultations. So I'm looking forward to meeting you. Back to the actual cool stuff. This is the rack that was built here. Now, we're going to show you what's in here, what it does, so you can have peace of mind and understand what has been done here. At the top, which is going to be the most important thing in any home automation project is your network. Please, please, please don't skip out and cheap out on your home automation, uh, on your networking for your home automation. This is the core of your system. If you want your stuff to work, do it correctly or call a professional and let them do it. But this is your network. We have Arachnus. We have a 310 Arachnus, a POE switch, and a core switch. This is going, what's going to uh, control the entire network. This is what's sending data and power to the touch screens, the doorbell, and anything that actually needs network and internet. And this is the core switch to everything that's in here and the components in the house, like the TVs and the stuff that we have out here. We, it did install an IllumaView and VR here for cameras and integration. And what we did here to make things simple, we actually put the Roku's behind the televisions and we're pulling audio from the television with these audio balance and send them into this triad matrix. Uh, what is a matrix for y'all that don't know? This is an audio matrix that has eight inputs and eight outputs. It has digital and stereo inputs that you can feed it and send it out to your eight outputs, which in this scenario are the audio zones of the house. The audio zones are powered by this triad amplifier. And I'm sorry, it's a little dust in here. I was supposed to clean this up early as you can see. We just completed the home and the home still has blue tape. So there's still some cleanups and touches that have to happen, but our project is completed outside of me forgetting to dust this off. But this is the triad amplifier that was powering all of the stereo zones in the household. Power management, our amplifier for our subwoofers. Both of the subwoofers in this house are in wall or in ceiling to prevent big boxes sitting on the floor uh, static purposes, looks, audio, video, you get it. And then from here, we have the surround sounds. These are the 5.1 and the 7.1 surround sounds for the great room and the rec room uh, that are more than just two zones of audio. Now, these cameras, I talked about them, but I haven't demoed them. Let's go check them out. All the cameras are integrated into the system and our Chime door station has two-way communication. Now talking about two-way communication, one of the biggest difference of installing a T4 touchscreen from an iPad and a tablet, it's actually intercom. All of the T4 uh, devices in this household can communicate with each other. So there's a button here that says intercom. I can actually from here call the client's iPhone and communicate with them, or I can go upstairs to the touchscreen and talk on the touchscreen upstairs. Intercom, it's the biggest difference in between. Somebody's actually at the front door. Uh, biggest difference in between an iPad and a T4 is going to be the intercom features for communication. Let me back out of this and let me show you something else. Security, our garages, our garages and status are actually integrated with the system. Yes, we have MyQ uh, garages, uh, garage motors in the garage, but MyQ has some limitations on the integration, especially with status. So what we did here is we installed a contact at the, uh, we installed a contact at the garage, uh, and then we installed a Z to IO for triggers and relays. You might've seen me install that yesterday. Uh, so we can actually control, and as you can see, both of the garages are actually open. If I click this here, it's gonna close the garage. Now, that's enough for this room. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button three times. The lights are gonna turn off, the TV is gonna turn off, and we're gonna go upstairs and show something else. All right. Now, there is some pre-selected scenes that I've created that the client doesn't know about. So we're about to turn on his party mode. In this touch screen right here, in the kitchen, I actually put a party scene. Now, 
Hopefully he doesn't get too upset because we're about to change his music. He's in the backyard hanging out, so he'll be all right. Um, I have a scene in here that says party. And let me bring y'all a little closer because I made these yesterday. We have a party and a bedtime scene. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit party. Now, what that does is it's actually going to change the lighting scenes of the house. And as you can hear, it, music started playing everywhere. Now, before YouTube copyright test, let me come over here and turn it off. But that's how easy it is to set up a scene with the system. I actually had it turn on the lights and turn on the great room to the selected Pandora station. You're done partying. Everybody went home. You're tired. It's time to go to bed. Let me bring you over here and let's go back to that scene. And Chris doesn't know this, but everything is timed to where this turns off, this turns off. And as we make our way to bed, the TV and all these lights turn off. So let's test it out. You ready, Chris? Three, two, one. Bedtime. Those turn off. These turn off. You notice that as I make my way this way, this starts turning off. And in any second now, the TV will turn off. All of this is timed within 10 seconds to give you enough time for you to go from there into the room and go to bed. All right, let's slow it down for a second and let me give you a recap of everything that was done in this home while you take a look at this beautiful scenery. Number one, the networking. The networking is in Rackness and it has a very reliable Wi-Fi. So good that I can actually connect from here. Control force system everywhere. Lighting, audio, video, touchscreen, Halo remote, you name it, we did it here. When it comes to audio, a lot of entertaining. Almost every room in this house has a pair of speakers for the homeowner and his friends to hang out. Surround sounds, we got great video rooms. 7.1, 5.1, in-ceiling subwoofers, amazing system, amazing displays. I didn't get a chance to show you the Samsung Terrace that's outside because the Karen is the client is back there working on it, but we do have an outdoor TV in this system uh, that's in that back room of the house. It is fully outdoor and it's rated, uh, so we can live out here in the heat, the moisture, whatever it is. Dang, this is a beautiful house and I'm glad I was able to share it with y'all. I thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel. And like always, don't forget to look, listen, and live with Empire AV.